Well, short talk in the trailer park with an old guy. It's uh, July the 3rd of uh, the year 2024, and it's uh, eh, about 7 o'clock in the morning. I'm going to get out of here in a little while, go to work. This uh, is going to be a long weekend this weekend for the 4th. And, uh, you know, it's kind of sad to me in a way to think about, you know, the, the celebration of the freedom and the independence of a small country. Uh, at that time, you know, in the in the late 1700s, uh, Great Britain, Great Britain was the world power uh, in terms of at least sea power, and uh, the United States uh, broke off and, and formed its own nation, and hooray for that. Well, you know, I wonder sometimes is is that at, at some point, do, do you have a celebration of freedom and independence inside of a giant prison camp? <laughs> in, in other words, the, the freedom and the independence which are forefathers uh, so valued and treasured and, and which if you're an old guy or an old lady you remember growing up uh, what it was like hearing about the history of the US and of course there was a lot of propaganda involved but the idea is is that I wonder sometimes there will be I guess a final July 4th celebration at some point after which I mean who would celebrate who would celebrate the independence of a nation which doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> That's not independent. So I, I kind of have mixed feelings about it a little bit. Um, I'm going to head up to Albuquerque. Uh, might be able to do a little bit of hiking up there. There's some uh, really nice mountain country right next door to Albuquerque, the Sandias and the Manzanos. And who knows, I might be able to make it up into there and, and you know, just get away from the city and stuff. Uh, my family's going to be meeting up there for, you know, just get together. And we'll probably have some, uh, you know, fresh fruit and hot dogs and, you know, hamburgers and stuff. And at any rate, I, I enjoy going up to Albuquerque for the 4th, and uh, it, it'll be a good trip, I hope. But it, it just kind of gives me a mixed feeling, you know, that, yeah, you know, uh, the the news is so screwy that we're, as the world continue, continues to turn your stomach and mine, we, we have to look forward, I think, and we have to have hope. We have to be able to understand that Jesus Christ and the gospel are not being in any way hampered by the uh, insane policies and practices of an out-of-control government which is bankrupt and, and frankly uttering nonsense and blasphemy most of the time. We, we've got a situation where our so-called leadership is just completely out of whack and, and disconnected from reality and uh, it, it shows. Uh, the, the policies and the crazy destructive new uh, interpretations of things which will allow for really only greater control by those who are in control and less uh, freedom less money less ability to decide our own lives this is the uh, the pattern that i've been you know kind of observing and so it, it kind of gives me a mixed feeling you know to think about it, it feels sad to me that the that the usa which was really a pretty great country in a lot of ways uh has has sunk to, to the levels that we're at right now. There's a, a excellent interview by a lady. Uh, I'm sorry, interview of a lady, and of course I've already forgotten her name. Uh, judge Napolitano, I guess, interviews her regularly on his program. So go look up the judge. He's got 400,000 uh, subscribers now, so he's doing something right, I guess. But anyway, she's talking about the idea of uh, the USA essentially committing suicide. I mean, as a as a community or as a nation or as a, uh, you know, a ruling power in the world. These policies are going to bankrupt the nation. Actually, they already have bankrupted the nation. And so, I mean, it's, a, it's an excellent interview. Go, go look her up. But, you know, I've, for, for months and years, I guess you'd say, I've, I've been kind of confused about why, why would those at the top, why would those who have all the, the access and all the money and all the, they're the bigwigs, why would they be interested in ruining the nation or nations which made them so very wealthy and powerful in the first place. And I think what it has to do with is new money, follow the money, yeah, but when the money crashes and burns, which it's going to have to do at some point, I mean, this, this uh, debt thing is just simply untenable. Uh, when that occurs and you get new money, there's owners, so to speak, or proprietors of that new money. We have uh, an idea where the bankruptcy of the United States becomes a boon, a bonanza for certain persons who are in, in a position to take advantage. That's my, that's my best guess. And, I, you know, I'm just a plumber, so 
take that and five bucks down to Starbucks. Uh, I don't think they'll give you a cup of coffee. <laughs> they might. But think of things over. It's it's a uh, 4th of July almost. And coming up to it, I, I just, I, I can't kind of feel like, uh, mixed. I have mixed feelings, I guess we'd say. I, I, I like the fact that we can spend time with each other and, and families and communities can gather as free people or what used to be free people. And the uh, surveillance state, well, they may, might want to listen in, but uh, the situation that we have is we're looking for a, a new hope. We're looking for a way to rebuild, a way to start over, a way to uh, begin again, and, and those doors are closing. Uh, the doors eventually will all close, but along the way, we are to be the, uh, the soldiers of truth. We are to be the ones who never give up hope. We are to be the ones who are moving forward in, in a society that's falling apart. We are to be the ones who uh, to maintain stability in an unstable environment. So I, I just kind of want to encourage you some, you know, I hope you have some time to get with your family or your folks for the fourth and, and spend some time and, and realize that the most valuable thing that you have in a lot of ways is, is your family. And uh, enjoy the connection, enjoy the reality of it, because it's, it's the matrix in which you were formed. <laughs> and the, the, the Lord, he has shaped us and he's uh, directed us and he's guiding us. And he uses families, he uses holidays, he uses church events, he uses uh, political stuff, he uses a lot of stuff in order to shape us and kind of retool us for the, for the new creation. When, when we look at what's happening and, and the idea of, of a new money coming along, these uh, CBDCs, I think it's a terrible idea. But when it, when it starts to happen, at some point we're going to have to make a decision. Because the CBDC is only as... Uh, strong as its security and its uh, cyber integrity allows when that gets hacked and it will uh then the cbdc becomes a joke but a bad joke a destructive joke and what has to happen out of that is security 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 and that means a mark in the hand or in the body in the head uh, in order to identify you as the real user of those non-existent dollars I, I see it as not as if the Antichrist is among us yet necessarily. Now, he may be alive. But uh, the in other words, they're setting up the programs, they're setting up the machine that he would have to use in order to run a global tyranny. And um, so the, all the pieces aren't in place yet. It's like a construction site, but it's coming together. And whether the destruction of the United States is a part of that, I think it would have to be. So there's there's a sense in which uh, the USA, USA and it's a uh, you know Fourth of July and it's in independence and all of that good stuff, all that has to fundamentally go away at some point in order for this new junk, this new garbage from hell, uh, to uh, root down and and uh, take over. So you're a you're a soldier of the truth uh, if if you love Jesus and so hang true. Uh, value people more than stuff, value reality more than fantasies and nonsense, value uh, sound testimony and sobriety above the uh, lunatics and their, you know, uh, guilt-ridden nonsense. The, uh, the, the perverts in charge are going to themselves have to, you know, stand and deliver and, and give an explanation, if you will, to the maker at some point. Judgment comes. For, for all of us and for every institution. There's no, there's no getting away from the idea that God is coming. And when he comes, he's coming as a warrior. He's coming as the champion. He's coming as the deliverer. So the heart of man wants, I think, uh, to have a meaningful world, a world where, uh, you know, uh, it's not just superficial garbage. It's not just guck on the internet. It's, it's real people tying into real uh, truth that has to do with the maker and our place that in, in the world he's made. So, you know, have, have a good fourth and, uh, you know, don't get drunk. Uh, <laughs> don't go blow stuff up that you wish you'd have tomorrow morning. <laughs> but uh, pay attention to the people around you. Time is precious. This may be one of the last Fourth of Julys we ever have. 
as a so-called free people. It's going away. So value what's important and uh, and hang tough. The uh, the uh, it was a beautiful uh, thing I wanted to say briefly. I saw, I mean, a beautiful thing I saw. There was a, a report about this uh, Hurricane Burl. It hit a small island, and of course I can't remember the name of it. But there was a young fella, and he's talking to an older guy. And the older guy, his house has been wiped out. He's lost everything. And the young guy's just got this beautiful expression on his face. And he says, we're going to rebuild. We will rebuild. But in other words, there's a new world coming. There's a place, there's a world coming where things make sense, <laughs> where there is no corruption. There is no crooked dealing at the top or anywhere throughout. There's a new world coming where it's like springtime, uh, new growth and uh, the smell of life and uh, all kinds of wonder. It all ascends and I mean, it all uh, coheres with with our great king who ascended on high and is coming soon. We don't know when, but in the meantime, we're to be on the ground expanding the terrain, the domain of truth and through prayer and through our testimony and through the good actions that you or I can do to assist real human beings. who are actually going to have a much harder time of it because of our leadership, because of those who are at the top, it's going to make it much harder for simple people, regular folks, working people to, to, make, it, to make it through. Extend the hand, be that one that, like that young smiling guy, will rebuild. Well, in this case, it isn't us rebuilding. There's a rebuilding coming from the inside out, supernatural. God is going to rebuild us, and we will stand up again clothed with light, clothed with immortality and an, an unkillable gladness, a joy that just uh, can't, can't be ended. It doesn't mean that, that the, all the sadness and all the heartache go away. It means that that joy at the center of your heart just never goes away because he never goes away. So have a good fourth, have a good Wednesday, and, and maybe I'll do a video on the road tomorrow or something like that. It's a three and a half hour drive up there and uh, to Albuquerque, I mean, and maybe I'll just... Uh, have a little, you can see what the landscape looks like, at least. And I might stop in Socorro. There's a restaurant I really like, the El Camino. And uh, maybe have some breakfast up there, you know. <laughs> That's an idea. You guys have a good day. Uh, and God bless you. God bless what was America. But really, it's the American people. It's, it's people like you. It's people like me who go to work every day, pay the bills, well, you know, law-abiding. You're the backbone of this land. You're the thing that makes it. You're the reason the wheels haven't fallen off yet. So don't give up. You're the backbone. You're the centerpiece of a, of a culture in the sense that without working people, what have you got really? Smoke and mirrors, empty promises, sales techniques. And uh, <laughs> we can do without more of that stuff. It's a... Uh, it's about all I really had to say, and I'm running out of time anyway. Got to go to go to yeah, got to go to work. <laughs> and uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for dropping in. And um, really didn't have much to offer you except the, this may be the last Fourth of July that we celebrate as a people. I I don't know. I can't. I'm not a future. Uh, you know, not a, a forecaster of what's actually going to happen. I just can see which way things are building up right now. And uh, for the American nation, it doesn't look good. Um, for the American people, it's always got a good thing because Jesus Christ doesn't give up on people. He condemns institutions. He overthrows nations. He destroys kingdoms and empires when they cross him. But the people, his care for them never ends. And that's part of the good news. So if you need a little boost today for a, for a 4th of July, try thinking that over some. Have a good day and God bless.